Okay, good day students. Um, in today's further math class, I'm going to try to do a correction of a few exam questions. And um, the first question is the functions f, g, and h on the set R are defined by f of x equals to x squared plus 1, g of x equals to 2x plus 3, h of x equals to 4x minus 5. Find a f of g of h x b f of g of h x all right so let's quickly look at it and uh solution solution f of x equals to x squared plus one you see that f of x equals to uh, x squared plus one and g of x equals to 2x plus 3 h of x equals to 4x minus 5. So let's start with the first one. f of g of h of x. So we start by f of g. f of g means put g inside f. All right? Put g inside f. So that will tell you. So we start with f of g of x. We'll tell you. Um, we say instead of writing x squared plus 1, we have 2x plus 3 all squared plus one that's we put g inside f so if you open this bracket the mistake some of you made was that 2x plus 3 all squared you now said 4x squared plus 3 squared no you open the bracket normally 2x plus 3 2x plus 3 plus one all right so if you open this bracket this will be 4x squared plus um 6x plus 6x plus 9 then plus one so we have 4x squared plus 12x plus 10 is that clear 4x squared plus 12x plus 10. But that's not all. That's not all. Remember that we have um, had, we are doing f of g, then we now have of h of x. So we are going to put h of x, all right, inside this. We're going to put h of x inside this. What's our h of x? h of x is 4x minus 5, all right? So we have something like this. So we have f of g, of h of x will be equals to 4 you know instead of now remember that we have 4x squared plus 12x 12, 12 plus 10 we are not going to put 4x minus 5 there we have 4 into brackets 4x minus 5 all squared okay all right plus all right plus 12 into bracket 4x minus 5 plus 10 did you get that so we have 4 into brackets Let's open this bracket normally. We're going to have 16x squared minus um, 40x plus 25. If you open the bracket properly, plus 12 times 4x is 48x minus 60. Then this plus 10 is there. Is that clear? So we have 4 times 16, 64x squared minus 160x plus 100 plus 48x minus 60 plus 10 so we can call it like terms 64x squared all right minus 160 plus 48 x 160 minus um 48 will give us uh minus minus 160 plus 48 will give us what um two okay um we have um 15 minus 4 one one two x okay that's one one two x minus one one two x plus 100 minus 60 40 40 plus 10 plus 50 so that's f of g of h of x okay so now let's go to question the, the b part that says that um f of g of h x something like this f of g of h all right x so you know the first thing we're going to do is to find g of h first all right we have find g of h first g of h first that will be put h inside g put h inside g let's look at it we put h inside g all right h inside g so that will be two into brackets 4x minus 5 plus remember that um g is 2x plus 3 that will be two into bracket 4x minus 5 plus 3 all right so we have 8x minus 10 plus 3. So we have 8x minus what? Minus 7. So you take note of that. 8x minus what? Minus 7. 
All right. So, but that's not all because what we just got is G of H. So we now need to get F of G of H X. So F of G of H X means that we are putting G of H X into F. Did you get that? We are putting G of H X into F. Okay, it is what comes last that we put into what comes first. Did you get that? All right, so what's our f of x? Actually, our f of x is what? x squared plus 1. Remember that f of x is x squared plus 1. So if we are going to put this into this, we are going to have f of g of hx equals 8x minus 7 all squared plus 1. Did you get that? 8x minus 7 all squared minus 1. So if we open this bracket, we're going to have 64x squared minus 112x plus 49. Then remember that there's a plus 1. So we have 64x squared minus 112x plus 50. So that's that about that. So we've solved A, we've solved B, and then let's look at C. C question says that what can you say about the results of A and B? What can we say? They are equal. Look at A, look at A, and look at B. They are equal. So C will be A and B give equal answers. Did you get that? A and B give equal answers. That's what we can ob we observe. All right. And then question D. Question D. Ask a very question, a very important question, which says, what algebraic property is being exhibited? All right. The answer is associativity. It's associative. If you remember, first term, I taught you binary operations. I taught you commutative all right, property. I taught you associative property. And I taught you distributive property. Just to, for, as a reminder. All right. Just as a reminder. All right. You, you look, at, look at this. We say that... Uh, this is commutative. A star B equals to B star A. If you remember, then for um, associative, we have A star B star C equals to A star B star C. This is associative. associative. All right. Then distributive talks about two, um, two operations. You know, let's say we have star and triangle. We have A triangle B star C equals to A triangle B star a triangle, A triangle, C. All right, this is distributive. So what we see in this B, which is associative, is similar to what we see in the in the in the question. That is f of g into bracket of h equals to f of into bracket g of h. So the answer is, you know, associative, associative property. Associative property. Is that clear? associative property is that clear all right so let's look at because i'm taking time to explain this because i observe that we have not still gotten that binary operations properly okay now let's look at question e question e question e says that uh that's question one e says now look at it two functions two functions F and G are defined on R. Sorry, on R. Okay? On R. The set of real numbers. Okay? By F of X equals s squared minus 5 and g of x equals 3x minus 1. The question says find f of g of x. It's simple. It's simple. Solution. All right. We have f of x equals to s squared minus 5. We have g of x equals to 3x minus 1. So what will be f of g? Again, it means I'm putting g inside f. All right, so what's our g? 3x minus 1. I'll put it inside f. Anywhere I see x, I put that g. So that will be uh, 3x minus 1 all squared minus 5. Did you get that? That will be 9x squared minus 6x plus 1 minus 5. 
that will be 9x squared minus 5x minus 5. And that's all about that. So I, I want you to watch the video as much as possible to understand how I solved that question. So next class, I'm going to try to um, say a few 